much. Recent police shootings, talks about police brutality, more protests continue to upset the nation. Uh, just this afternoon, we learned that Officer Betty Shelby, who was involved in the Tulsa shooting, is now facing manslaughter charges. But what does it impact? What does it, what does the impact locally? Well, how, what does this impact on our communities and our police officers in the East Idaho area? Local News 8 reporter Taja Davis sat down with the Idaho Falls Police Chief to get his perspective on all this. Taja. That's right, Jay Carroll. This week put another two black men on the list of those shot and killed by police. Terrence Crutcher in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Keith Scott in Charlotte, North Carolina. And then protests in Charlotte turned violent, injuring more than 80 people and 16 officers. So this brings up many questions, but as I talked with Idaho Falls Police Chief Mark McBride, I asked him how this affects his department. I think seeing, seeing the attitude of some people in the nation um, affects officers, uh, affects them maybe emotionally, affects us personally. We're trying to respect people's rights while keeping people safe in our communities. So uh, it does affect us, um, but we still are very vigilant to make sure we're doing our job right. People being killed and police officers getting injured has undoubtedly increased tensions on many sides in the country. Though the recent trend has not crossed over into Idaho Falls, Chief McBride thinks community policing is a big key to keeping relations positive during this stressful time. I think the more there's any, an interaction with any person or groups of people, there's more trust that's built. You know, these other agencies, they probably do these same things. Um, but how many people do you reach? You know, what's the, the number of your population? So if you have a coffee with a cop, 10 people show up. You know, our population of 58,000 versus theirs of 800,000 or whatever it is. You know, it, it's going to take longer to build those relationships. Police brutality has been highlighted for years and even more so in the past few months. Idaho Falls may not be as populated as the bigger cities directly affected by these shootings, but the police department is still affected by the national strife. Despite that, officers in Idaho Falls are proud to be a part of a community that has showered them with so much support. It's very exciting to work in a community like this because we, especially the last few months, we've had so much show of support from our community that it just makes you feel good because you just see the bad. And then when these people come forward, it's like getting a hug, <laughs> you know, and it makes you feel better. It makes you feel good about what you're doing, that you are appreciated. Police and public relationships seem to be doing okay in Idaho Falls, but there is still the bigger problem of trying to save relations and lives in other parts of this country. How that will pan out is unfortunately still a mystery. In the studio tonight, I'm Taja Davis. Thank right. you, Taja. Yeah, and the Bannock County Sheriff, uh, Lauren Nielsen, he has already been meeting with black leaders in his community. Uh, he's working toward finding healthy, positive solutions to this concern.